The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 15, 1973, in Los Angeles. Shri Prabhu, may I put a question? Yes. Yesterday I uh, made the acquaintance of a uh, theologist, professor from the University of Montreal. Mm. He, he said that the Roman Catholic presentation of Christianity is that God came to share the suffering of man. That is another rascal. No? Why God should share the suffering of man? I asked him this and he said, so that man would accept more as reality, suffering. Uh, very good theology. <laughs> rascal number one. You are trying for becoming happy, and his theory is that man will accept suffering. The very proposition is rascal. Everybody is trying for to become happy. There is progress. Atantik and Sanskrit it is called Atantik Dukha Nidditi. Yes, there is suffering, or our struggle for existence means to. <coughs> I would say mitigate the suffering, to minimize the or to make it need. That is our struggle. We are not submitting to suffering. Then what is the civilization? What is the civilization? We don't want suffering. That is our position. Why this rascal says that we shall suffer? The see, the theologian, is a rascal. Therefore we say everyone rascal. Magician, Prabhupada, huh. calls himself an atheist theist. <laughs> uh, he said, I'm an atheist theist. Atheist theist? What is this? This rascal. Another rascal. Another rascal for good. I asked him, how can a theologist be an atheist? The whole thing is that because the whole world is full of rascals, they are all talking nonsense. No meaning. No meaning. It is only we we are pointing out that you are a rascal. You speak all nonsense. <clears throat> now, taking this word, atheist, what does it mean by atheist? Without theism? No, no, that is not explained. It is, is not believing in God. Yeah, say like that. Don't say in a negative way, in a positive way. What does it mean? It is. There is no God. There is no God. Then what do you what do you mean by God? Next question. Next question will be, what do you mean by God? So he'll say that the conception which has been presented by the different religions. What is your conception? Why do you go to different religions? You are talking with me. So you say, what, what do you mean by God? <clears throat> Next question will be this. Don't go to others. Don't try out. You are atheist. You are posing yourself atheist. Atheist means one who does not believe in God. That's all. Now what do you mean by God? First of all, the thing must be there. Then you believe or not believe next. Uh, just like here is a person. He says, I believe in him. I say, I don't believe in him. But the person is there. So they say God is just an idea. God is an idea. Idea? Yes. That is... But ideas don't always represent facts. Yeah. Huh? Ideas don't always represent facts. The idea is there. You don't, you say that you, it is not fact, but others say it is a fact. So how it will be mitigated? How it will be settled? God, what is there? You say that it is an idea. The sky flower is an idea, but it's not fact. No, just the God, let us stick on the God. You say it is an idea. I say it is not an idea, it is fact. 
When they say by objective empirical analysis, it has to be researched. Uh, let us analyze. analyze. Let us analyze. Uh, we, we say that God means supreme, uh, supreme being. So how you can say that supreme being is an idea? How you can say? We accept supreme being. So how you can say it is idea? It is fact. Well, they say there's no necessity for a supreme no, being. No, they say if you don't accept, then you'll be beaten with swords. Because as soon as there is red, red light, you have to accept supreme. How does it that's an authority we've imposed upon ourselves. Huh? That's an authority we've imposed yes, upon ourselves. Yes, because there is need, therefore you have done it. There well, is necessity. Well, some of them say because people are generally ignorant, therefore we need this idea of God. But you are less than ignorant. You are less than ignorant. You are less than rascal. If I call you a rascal, then I give you some honor. <laughs> See, Lenin said that the God is just opiate of the people, just to keep them no, intoxicated. No, no, no. God, that means Lelin wanted it to be, become God. God. That's all. Yes, you are. The God he idea God. is there, but yeah, but he was he, he cannot be God because he was under the laws of God. He died. He died. He could not save himself from death. Therefore, he is not supreme authority. He accepted supreme authority. But he wanted himself to become the supreme authority. Now, when he died, he is not supreme authority. He is forced to die. Then there is another supreme authority. Well, then they can say ultimately death is meaningless anyway. Huh? Why ultimately meaningless? death is meaningless. Why, why meaning? Then why, why you are afraid of death when I come to well, kill you? Well, that it's meaningless doesn't mean I can't place some value on it at any given point. Why meaningless? It is. It has meaning. Then why you are fighting? Why you fought for the Russian Revolution? Well, give an example like numbers. Numbers are only useful for a purpose, but actually they're meaningless. But the purpose is meaningless then. Then your purpose is meaningless. Yes, because ultimately everything is meaningless. Then you are a rascal. Why? You are Why? All working for meaningless things. Then you are a rascal. That's all. And uh, that is my version that you are a rascal number one. Well, they say everyone can introduce their own meaning huh? to whatever they want. No, then why do try, why do uh, try to get many uh, uh, followers? Let them do their own work. No, to 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 proliferate your own meaning. No, no, you have got own meaning. You be satisfied with your own meaning. I have got my own meaning. Why do you bother me? Well, my meaning may be to bother you. Huh? That may be part of my meaning. Then my meaning is to say, beat you with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 not that's someone, that's someone not like it. Lenin. No one ever beat him. He was not beat. No, no. He was also bitten by death. Well, he he death, also. death is no, that, meaningless. that means even if he is bitten, he will not accept it. <clears throat> he is such a rascal. He is such a rascal. He is being bitten every moment. He is becoming old. He is becoming diseased. He is dying. He still says, I am not bitten. I am not bitten. Actually, he still thinks that he is beating death because yes. they, they put he's his being, body He is being bitten every moment, every second. And he still he will say, I am not bitten. That is rascal number one. One is accepting that, yes, I am being beaten. He is saying that. Well, and one who says that I am not beaten, uh, he is getting old, and in every moment he is being beaten, and he still says, I am not beaten. Well, they have a philosophy called existentialism. Uh, that so long something exists, we can place value on it, but when it ceases to exist, there is no remorse, there is nothing uh, to lament. And there is no nothing to lament, but why don't you exist? Why you struggle for existence? Like they say, if you have money in your hand, as long as you have it, you can utilize it. But if you lose it, don't worry. It's nothing to lament. But they worry. I practically, they cry. Well, they just fall short of their philosophy. Oh, that. Philosophy, they hold his idea. So, these are no argument. No sane man will accept these are. Most Western people are so frustrated, they accept these philosophies wholeheartedly. Yeah. That is... Frustration that is not real life. That is another life. Just like you say in Bhagavad Gita, they're so angry with all types of speculation. Huh? 
they become so angry with all types of speculation that they become frustrated and disgusted. Yeah, frustration is not lie. Frustration is frustration. Disappointment. That is not lie. They say that, that, that frustration is the only reality. No. Absurd. <laughs> <laughs> They do not know the value of life. Yeah, that's it. That means rascal. That means rascal. One of their chief philosophers, his name was Camus. So after he was propounding this philosophy and writing many books, mm -hmm. one night he was driving in his car and he decided well, there's no meaning, so why not just drive my car off a cliff? <laughs> so he just drove his car off a cliff. Finished himself off. <laughs> Mad, mad. But his books are, in colleges especially, millions and millions of students accept his books as, as practical gospel. What is the subject matter of the book? Subject matter of his books is life is ultimately absurd. There's no real meaning to it. We place our own meaning on it. Why are you are trying to explain it? Why you are you trying to explain it? Yes, actually, he's trying to make reason out of the absurdity. To prove absurdism, he's his reason. That means absurdism. Well, that's what he has to realize. Everything is absurd. There's no reason to be in the living. This almost works with the problem. No, no, this thing is that you are saying absurd. I am saying not absurd. And we'll settle like this. That is it. If you settle your own affair, I settle my own affair. So we'll settle up. Whether I'm right, you are right. We settled a debt. <laughs> That's all. Mrittu sarva harastra. The death is equally acceptable by you and me. But and it is also a fact, you don't want to die, I also don't want to die. Then there is authority. No, but in his case, he didn't care. He died willingly. No, no. He, 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 he didn't care, but he always takes care. That is a fact. He always takes care. No, but this, in this instance, he died willingly. He wanted to die. Maybe he might be pretending. He yeah. would like to die, but yeah. he was saying that he might have killed himself. Yes, he did not want to die, but just to keep prestige, he might have died. Yes. I think he wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> like people who do suicide. Then if you want to die, let me kill you immediately. You'd be happy. And he wrote another book called Nausea, where he wrote how, how life made him sick to his stomach. That is madman. Sometimes yes. madman commits suicide. Yes. He's a madman. Yes. 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 During the last 300 or 200 years, all the most form famous writers and scholars and intellectuals, they all became madmen. Yeah, they must be, because they do not know what is to be known. Knowledge, Mitch, their knowledge Freud, is imperfect. They all died madmen. Madman means when one becomes frustrated, he becomes mad. That is it. And the people, after them, they think that their, their lives are very great. They need their books to accept no, their There are two classes of men. We, we don't say that their life was great. No, therefore I say, who is settled? I am right or he is right. They always will find, the madman will say, I am right. Another man say, you are not right, I am right. Then who is settled up? That is the point. You will find always these two classes of men. He say, you are right, I say, I am right. But by committing suicide, didn't he accept that finally death was the only thing that was not absurd? Huh? Yes. For them, the death is the only solution. books, Prabhupada, because it requires no commitment on their part. Eh? It requires no commitment. To read such men, oh yes, 
That's very nice. I can read them and put them down. But it doesn't require me to, to trust in God or to do anything for the world. No. Uh, book, books are written in favor. If you want to know more about us, then here is book. Because from books generally we get knowledge. Otherwise, book is not required. Very brilliant light. Uh, and if the light is little more brilliant, that when finish. Uh, if the same light becomes little more brilliant, that means finish. Fall down. <laughs> We get up yeah. Several years ago, you gave a series of lectures in New York on uh, atonement that are very famous and devotees they relish them very much. Pious uh, Chitta. And uh, yeah. this is also in Christian theology to a large extent, plus another concept called uh, uh, feeling very sorry for one's uh, sinful activity. Repentance. Uh, yeah. Repentance. Not, not so much repentance, it's called uh, uh, the classic idea is that one goes away and just lives in uh, a state of, of, of uh, remorse solitude and remorse, thinking how sinful and wretched he is. And uh, performing severe austerities. Uh, going away, living in a monastery, performing severe austerities, and always contemplating how sinful and wretched we are, and how we must suffer. Everyone is suffering. But one who knows that he is suffering, he is intelligent. Good morning. Everyone is suffering. <laughs> if you are not suffering, why are covered? Why you are covered? Because you are suffering. Is it not? Why are not naked body? Because we are suffering, therefore you have covered. It is a fact. And if somebody says, no, we are not suffering, then he is a madman. So, everyone is suffering. One who knows it, he is intelligent. They have no, they have no positive philosophy. They, they stress guilt. Huh? They're always guilty. Yes. They have no positive philosophy. Uh, then, then the next question is that if there is a positive philosophy to mitigate the suffering, why don't you accept it? That's why like one body suffering, I say, take this blanket, cover. If he says, no, I'm not going to take it. Is that same man? Then you'll continue suffering. Huh? You will continue suffering yes. if it is an action. Yes. Our proposition is that everyone is suffering and struggling. How to stop this suffering? This is material work. Everyone is suffering. And the struggle is called progress. So we are offering something also. Here is something. We accept it and your suffering will be material. Nobody can say, no, we are not suffering. That is insanity. Everyone can. This suffering comes from our sinful activities? Yes. 
Okay, that was Krishna says, Ankwa Sarva Papi Bhamma Khrushchami. I shall give you protection from sinful reaction of your life. Because you are suffering for sinful reaction. Suffering means if you disobey the laws of the state, you suffer. That is simple. Because you have disobeyed the laws of the state, you are suffering. One has difficulty becoming Krishna consciousness. Is that suffering? Huh? That is also suffering? No, what is the difficulty, first of all? You once said that uh, if someone is not attracted to chanting, then he's being punished by Yamaraj. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you, if by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, you can save your suffering, what is the difficulty? Not that simple. Everyone is suffering in this material world. And everyone is trying to get out of the suffering. That is also a plan. They try to get out of suffering by committing more sins? Yes. Because they do not know how to get out of the suffering. People who think that they are not suffering, that they are actually that suffering. That means uh, it is difficult to teach inside but Therefore, the best means is, without teaching, please come here, chant Hare Krishna mantra and text little prasadam and go home. Then his insanity will be cured. Then he will be This is our point. Don't sermonize in the beginning. We simply request, all right, you are very good. Nobody is more intelligent than you. Yes. Please come here, sit down, chant, dance, it is very nice, and take some little prasadam, go home. That is our program. And then we teach. When he comes to his little sanity, then he. theologians call contrition. It means that actual uh, thinking about how sinful we are, actually meditating on our sinful condition. Uh, yeah, uh, simply meditating on sinful condition, that is also good. But what is the counteraction? That we must know. Just like one man is suffering from some disease, he knows that I have infected this disease. So simply uh, thinking, oh, I have been infected by this disease. That is not good. You must go to a physician to cure it. Yes. That is intelligent. Or he's like a criminal. Eh? If he commits a crime, it's nice that he laments, but he can't just, just lament. He has to start working. Yes, he must go to the state and offer, please kill me. Then state may consider. I have committed this murder, so the law is, I, I must give my life, so I am prepared. Then immediately he, he will be excused. Yes. The Bodhi came and they told the Prabhupada that he was he committed some wrongdoing and he was very, very sorry and he was crying and very sorry. You said, That's all right, that's nice, now do something about it. Engage yourself in Christian yes. service. Yes. That is the duty of the physician. If somebody comes to patient, that I'm suffering like this. All right. Don't be sorry. Sit down. I'll give you something. So what the, what the, the rascal philosophers do, psychologists and scientists, uh, to say the things that are very sinful, actually, the Krishna says in the Bible and all of Scripture say are sinful, they say that's all right, you may do those things. 
Not only do they deny God's existence, but they say that which is sinful is actually good for you. Yes, you must have intoxication. Take your list of sex lines like that. No, no good man will say like that. That is the difference between good man and bad man. The same example I like today, one blind man is going this side. And another man says, yes, you are all right, go this side. This is going on. Either he does not know this rascal who says, yes, you can go this side, that he'll fall down in the ocean and die. Both of them do not know. So one blind man, Andhajathan, Vairupaniyamana, one blind man is giving direction to another blind man. This is the way. Therefore, Vedic intention is to take direction. You must go to Guru. That is in Tatvigyana Thamsa Guru Meva Vigache. Guru Eva must go. Then he'll get right direction. Otherwise, misguided. There must have been very many gurus. Were there many gurus then? But guru, or first of all, try to understand what is the meaning of guru. Guru means heavy. So one who knows more than you, or one who knows perfectly, that he is guru. So if you know anything perfectly, then you are guru. But if you do not know anything perfectly, then you are not a guru. You are asked. Guru means one who knows perfectly. So if you find out somebody that he is, he knows everything perfectly, then he is guru. 